this afternoon when we talked about you know, what went on at the, the, the meeting in Kansas City um, that had to do with how we structure the, structure the initiative as well as structure the agenda. Um, we've got a lot of people coming in um, to uh, uh, do presentations on a, a variety of efforts, both in the United States and, um, and abroad. Um, James, do we have our lunch in here? Or do we go to yeah, the lunch in here? Like I said, right back there. Hey, Lewis. Yes. I'm going to move that way a little bit so we can see you. <laughs> no, I'm not here. I know. No, I'm, I'm sorry. It's better. Good. Yeah, it's, it, can you hear this thing? Yes. You can. <laughs> I turned it out. It's about the same, Lewis, but it really helps.
12th session on Wednesday morning. Good morning, I'm Dana Rogers from OSD, Ohio State Computing. Marla Davenport from TIES in Minnesota, we're an E12 um, consortium of school districts. I'm Ruth Blanken Baker with the Center for Interactive Learning and Collaboration in Indianapolis. Carol Willis, Texas Education Telecommunications Network. Ann Zimmerman with OSC NAP, which is formerly ORNAP. Some of you all might remember that name better. I'm Rob Rock Clark with the Exploratorium in San Francisco. <coughs> Sherilyn Evans with Scenic here in California. Welcome, everybody. I'm Randy Stout with uh, CANED in uh, Topeka, Kansas. Wednesday morning 
is to take seriously the question, can K-12 afford to participate in these statewide initiatives where there's a requirement that they implement some sort of identity management scheme in their districts? So our, we're trying to take that seriously, but there are benefits and costs. Um, in many cases, the fundamental issue is the, the question of do I lose control over my identity, um, control over identities, um, where local control is a big issue for many K-12 districts. So the plan during the uh, presentation is to um, first give some sort of background, as just as I just done here, then say, give them a, give whoever attends uh, a vision of where we'd like to end up, more or less a vignette or a use case for what might come from that sort of K-12 participation in statewide initiatives. Then move to a, a second piece of the program where we present three current cases where this is beginning to work. Uh, in New Jersey, the New Jersey um, Research and Education Network has been in cooperation with their libraries and university system and is now deploying it to, uh, to K-12s throughout the state. There it's basically video on demand learning objects that are being used um, mostly at this point in higher ed, but again being adopted in K-12. Uh, the second use case we might be able to stick in there, depending on some of the materials we make it, is the Utah Education Network has quite an active um, learning objects, video on, on demand learning objects repository used throughout K-12 in Utah. And again, it's built on some identity management scheme they put together. And then the third piece is presenting um, what's going on in the United Kingdom with respect to the UK Access Management Initiative and uh, BECTA, which is the, um, the government agency in Britain for these sorts of initiatives. And then after that, we hope to turn it back to the group and ask them to help us come up with ideas, structures, questions that ought to go into a short report, not only of the Birds of a Feather meeting, but also as a report that can be distributed more broadly to say, well, here's the issues, here's what's going on, here's some suggestions for how to pursue this. So that's our plan. What he said. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> Thanks. Thank you. 